On this episode, I'm going to be showing you three methods and how you can fix damaged NM cables inside your home. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. We are going to be working with electrical in today's video. Make sure you turn off the power from your circuit breaker before starting any electrical work and make sure you are up to date with your local electrical codes. If you're uncomfortable doing any type of electrical work, please hire a certified qualified electrician. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below. Let's get into today's video. So once in a while, you might come across damaged NM cables or electrical cables inside your home, whether it be inside your drywall or outside your drywall. Three different methods and how you can fix them if you ever find one of these damaged wires. Let's get to method number one. I'll be working on my mock-up right here. This is not an original wall. Even though you turned off the power from the circuit breaker, you always want to test it out with this voltage tester. Let's simulate that this is located outside your wall and you're trying to fix this damaged wire. So for this instance, since you're just going to have an exposed wire outside your wall, you can use a J box like this or a handy box where you can insert two of the wires through here. So I've installed these NM connectors and let me show you how to install these. All you gotta do is punch out these little knockouts with a hammer. What you're gonna use is an NM connector. Unscrew the top and you just insert it through those holes that you just knocked out. Screw in back the locking nut. And push it down to tighten it. Just like that and it's nice and tight. Same thing for the other side. We also notice on this J box that there is a ground wire connected to this metal box. So make sure that this is grounded. Having this damaged wire, you might as well just cut it straight right in the middle. Why I'm using is wire cutters. Again, any tools that I use within this video, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Make sure you check those out through here. And if you do have extra slack that you can pull, even better. But if not, you might have to end up using pigtails to connect these two wires together. You can tighten the NM connectors. You can just strip off the sheathing out of this. Take this J box and screw it to whatever material or area that you wish but I'm not gonna do that on this demonstration. I'm just showing you what you can do to wire this up. Take all your wires and strip them. So I have now one end all opened up, the other end opened up as well, and I got this ground wire. Some cases, sometimes you don't have slack to pull all this wire out of into this handy box. You're gonna have to go through the pigtail method just take some pigtails and connect it through this connectors that I'm going to be using, which is the Wago 221s. I really like using these. These are easy and you can reuse them. Um, so if you're interested on these Wago 221s, I'll leave a link on the description down below. But since we have enough wire here, we don't, won't need to go pigtail anything. Just connect the black to black. And now I'm taking my three lever way goes connect that connect the j box and then connect the other line just take everything and tuck it neatly inside the box i don't have a metal cover for this but you can take a blank cover and just close it just like that easy simple done now if you don't want to leave this as a blank take off the blank and you can actually replace this with an outlet Let's replace this and now you have a usable outlet that you can use so you don't have to waste or have a blank box just sitting around so all we did here was disconnected all the Wago 221 connectors so we're back with the open and splice wiring this is my volt claw to make these shepherd hooks at the ends so I'm gonna shepherd hook every one of these wires so I'm going to use a 15 amp outlet and I'm just going to connect everything like this. Put the wire right so. I'm going to use my combination screwdriver. This is a must have if you're working with outlets. So go clockwise. So 
So how the hots are combined, the neutrals are combined. Then you're going to take a ground pigtail, attach it to the ground section of the outlet. You're going to combine all of the grounds together, push this in, and that's it. Also, if you want a faster and easier outlet instead of the regular residential or commercial version, there is one by Leviton. This one is called the Decora Edge, and it's super easy. It's kind of like these Wagos 221s, but they're built in into these outlets. All you have to do is insert them in, easy, push them in, close them all up. Same thing with the neutrals. And it's just less than a minute, you can have it installed. So what if you're working with drywall? You can use this old work J-Box. What's great about this is that you can just push it in inside the drywall and this will clamp right against the drywall. So you don't have to attach this to any stud or whatnot. Put it on the J-Box and you're done again if you're interested on the leviton decor edge and all these material i'll leave all the links on the description down below hey there friends sorry to interrupt you right quick but if you're finding this video super helpful so far please hit that big thumbs up and subscribe button down below it'll greatly help out the channel thank you so much let's get back to the video on to our third method in fixing these damaged cables and that is using this interconnectors this one is by te it's a two-way piece that you just clip on together once you attach it, and i'll show you that later so there's a huge debate on using these te connectors or interconnectors so for all my electricians out there if you're watching this please leave a comment down below and i want to know your opinion on this but if you look into the nec this is the version i have this is the NEC code code book 2020 and if we look onto page look into 334.40 um, paragraph B devices of insulating material self-contained switches self-contained receptacles and non-metallic sheath cable interconnector devices of insulating material shall be permitted to be used without boxes in exposed cable wiring and for repair wiring in existing buildings where the cable is concealed openings in such devices shall form a close fit around the other the outer co covering of this cable and the device shall fully enclose the part of the cable from which any part of the covering has been removed so if you want to just look at this pause it and look for it yourself so all my electricians let me know in the comment section down below what is what you think what are you see your opinion or what is your expert advice on using these but i'm going to show you how to use this and how easy it is you can install this but for me personally once i install this i don't think i want to bury this like leave it inside the drywall or leave it and close off with this in there personally for me in my opinion i don't feel comfortable doing it but according to the code book it looks like it's it's allowed but that's just my interpretation of it and my opinion we did here is we cut that damaged wire in two so for this one you can use 15 amp to 20 amp solid copper conductors okay friends it says white green for the ground there's black and there's red so i'm just gonna go and have this at least the insulated part pass this little hole right here cut it from here now i'm not gonna strip the cable like so so if you look at right here the hot wire is longer than the ground and the white and then we're going to use our channel lock pliers to clamp it in place like so we're just going to push down so the tab is closed on each end you can see the white the ground and the hot wire are all compressed into that connector. I'm gonna take these screws that are provided and it's gonna go right underneath. So now we did it on both sides. And if you're confused on that, it does come with full instructions right here. This is again, this is called TE connectivity. I'll leave the link in the description down below if you wanna try these out. Flip one over and it should click just like this together just like that once you hear it click it is nice and secured for me personally i don't think i'm going to put this inside the drywall this is probably be something that i want to be 
connected in a dry area exposed that I can see it physically um, instead of it being buried on the wall somewhere. So this is another option for you friends. Those are my three methods on how to fix damaged cables, whether it be inside your wall or outside in an exposed area. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this third method on this TE connectors. For all my electricians or for those of you friends who have used this before, please leave a comment on the section down below and explain and share with the community what are your experiences on these connectors or something similar to these. Thank you so much. If you found this video super helpful and you found big value please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video